small, worthless, and surrounded by things way more impressive. I'm of course talking about the smallest kingdom in all of Crusader Kings 3. Welcome to the beautiful island Crete, where even the seagulls look down on you with disdain. With a total of two counties to her name, and an island consisting of nothing but hills, mountains, and the cave that the god Zeus was born in. Can we survive surrounded by giants such as the Byzantines, the Abbasids, and the most fearsome creature of them all, the Bulgarian? And to make this even more of a challenge, I will also be playing as the smallest king in all of Crusader Kings 3. It is time to prove that good things do come in small packages. Let's pick a Goliath and show him who's boss. Size doesn't matter unless you're talking about armies. My name is Koifish and this is the smallest kingdom and king in all of Crusader Kings 3. Oh, and by the way, we have a brand new Discord that you can join. Link in the description. It is super cool. We call it the Koifish Community. Community. Uh, super cool name. Okay, uh, but uh, yeah, join that and you can talk to me and other cool people. Yeah, okay. See you guys. Back to the video. And here we are, playing as Duke Nanos Mikros of Crete. A very deceitful, sadistic, lustful dwarf with a masterful education in intrigue. What this little guy lacks in height, he makes up for in the fact that he's an absolute lunatic. We're of House Mikros, beware the short-tempered. With our beautiful house banner depicting us as the Shab and the tall people as the Soyaks. Why don't we start out right away? My goal is to cause as much chaos as possible. This guy is a rogue agent of the United States military. Now we'll go into intrigue with Skaldagri, because I'm planning on killing a lot of people. First off, my biggest enemy the Bulgarians. King Boris here is gonna meet a swift end. It won't take a long time to plot though, uh, because <laughs> literally everyone, including Prince Dox, inventor of doxing, is wanting to help kill him. Wonderful. Let's also get a cool wife. This wonderful Finnish woman will be a perfect bride. I'm sorry buddy, but in this reality, the dwarf gets the girl. God damn it, this guy will kill more people than smallpox and America combined. And I don't intend to expand my holdings. I'm just gonna topple the other kingdoms the best I can without growing my borders. But, ironically enough, the smallest kingdom and the shortest king will have to play tall. I can tell there's something wrong with my Finnish mail order bride that I just got married to. She's clearly distracted, and when I ask her, she tells me, Moi vittu satana perkele ei saa moi bueno! Last one might not have been Finnish. It's a money matter. She sighs, running her free hand over her head. I have some family or short on luck. Is this a scam? I'll deal with it. But now, let me deal with you. Duke Nanos, you can't be nice only to expect sex from them, you little incel. Get back to 4 and take a shower while you're at it. King Boris, I might be a few feet shorter than you, but soon you'll be six feet under. Ho ho! A toast to King Boris! Long may he die! <laughs> Bye bye! And because I'm a sadistic little dwarf, I literally lose stress. How do you like to relax? Ah, I plot murders on leaders of big countries. Well, that's Bulgaria taken care of. Now, let's deal with the Abbasids. Holy moly! Duke Nanos, you, you can't have a beard like that! What kind of dwarf are you? Are we, are we playing Dwarf Fortress? Well, diggy diggy hole, we're about to diggy diggy the grave of the Abbasid Caleb. He was bitten by a viper. Viper? I barely know her. But the Abbasids are still not split. So let's keep on murdering. <laughs> Goodbye! Can we get much higher? <laughs> well, no, because we have a genetical condition that stunts our growth. <laughs> Why are the Abbasids not splitting yet? Not good. Tell you what, let's tussle up with the Byzantines first. And my Finnish wife is pregnant. Wonderful. Goodbye, Basilius. It was only a matter of time. And we have our first child! <gasps> She's not even a dwarf! I will name her after the worst vegetable known to man. Little Kale. Wife is pregnant again. This time it better be a dwarf. But who's this? The Amanos! A peasant leader! Oh my god. We're having revolts already. Maybe ruling as a tyrannical dwarf isn't the way to go for a government. Goodbye, Basilius! Bah! It was stopped by a... By a Varangian! Sigurdur! <gasps> of course! The dwarf assassin was stopped by the giant bodyguard. As for you, my little peasant leader, I'm gonna torture you excessively. A son! He's not a dwarf! I will name him Nonos anyways. 
Maybe we can like cut his legs off and stunt his growth or something. I don't know. <laughs> Stop feeding the boy so much. What? They captured my spy master? No! I'm gonna need another one. Heh, <laughs> come to think of it, we're not even a king yet. I just need to get another duchy and then I can form it. But what duchy should I steal if I want to keep this kingdom as small as possible? Hmm. Venetia looking very, very <laughs> submissive and breathable. Goodbye, Basilius! Oh, he's dead. And now, we kidnap the child. I like to imagine Duke Nanos just waltzing in with a bag, putting the child in it, and just walking out. Put him in the bag! He's in the bag! <laughs> we can ransom him from whopping amount of gold. We can also castrate him or blind him. That seems surprisingly harsh. Tell you what, we're gonna ransom him. With this gold, we can build a mighty realm. Hey guys, Corfish here. Hope you're enjoying the video so far. It would mean the world to me if you could leave a like and a comment on this video, as it really helps to boost it in the algorithm, letting it be shown by more people. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. I do a lot of these cool Crusader Kings 3 challenges and more stuff that I'm sure you're gonna love. Alright, thank you. With that said though, there's just one living member of House Abbasid. What if I... What if I steal his penis? I know this sounds a bit weird, but what if I end the Abbasid dynasty by cutting off the last caliphs? Well, <laughs> well, his little caliph. Oh my god, I am Duke Naros, the penis stealer. Yes, cut off his niggling. Cut it off. The jailer drags a panicked caliph into the room. Please, I will do anything, anything you want. Oh, Al-Mutadi, do not fret. I am not here to take your head. Uh, well, not that head. <laughs> oh, yes, this will hurt. You have no penis. Oh, a daughter. Not even a dwarf either. We can also get a strong alliance. I'm going to use these alliances to take over the glorious realm of the Venetians. But first, I need to get within reach of him. I'm simply a bit too short. Now, to get to Venice, we're going to need a little stepping stone. We're gonna go to Napoli. No, they captured me! No, 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 no. That's it. I'm gonna escape right away. God damn it. God damn it. I'm trapped like a rat in a cage. Before I leave, I'll take his eyes out. How about that, huh? Goodbye! Well, that's a very embarrassing way to lose a war. Wow, that sucks. I guess that war fell a bit short. <laughs> of all my children I've gotten, have been non-dwarves. They might be short, but they're not dwarves. So I'm gonna kidnap every female dwarf I can find and, well, start making more dwarves. Come on, capture the dwarf. I have to get her. I have to get the dwarf. Listen, we need like a, a fellow woman to help us kidnap a dwarf. Teresa, you're not a dwarf yourself, but like, we'll make it happen. We'll make it work. Yes, yes, we bagged the dwarf. And now, we bag the dwarf. There's more dwarves to be captured. Steal them. Steal them all. We also pick up twice schemed. So we can steal twice as many dwarves. Yes. Yes. Soon the entire court will be full of short people. Yes. Is it really ethical to capture dwarves just to make up for your own shortcomings? No pun intended. I mean, I have to. I have to. <laughs> I'm literally stealing some poor counts court physician. I, I'm compelled to do so. And while this happens, I'll, I'll force the dwarves to like me. I didn't think about this, but the dwarves have to like me as well. Sorry, let me pull up my dwarf index and look for another kidnap victim. How about we make new dwarves like just like, we'll get this dwarf in here. Oh no, I created a dwarf farm. I'm so sorry, but this is what you have to expect when we play Crusader Kings with koi fish. It's like the, it's like the Guantanamo Bay, but for short people. Listen, the long and short of it is that I need to get more dwarves in here. Because it's literally just me that's short and that doesn't really make the smallest kingdom, does it? Oh my god! Yes! My very first dwarf daughter! But what do I do with all these failed experiments? And what do I do with this wife? Well, I unlocked the schemer perk. Now I'm a proper schemer. And we need some more money to get more dwarves, so... Uh... So we're gonna capture the Sultan of Egypt. That's not a dwarf! That's the goddamn Kogan of Kasoria! Dwarf acquired, let's go! Tell you what, let's switch it up by doing some murdering as well. 
I want to break the Byzantine Empire completely. I'm going to keep killing people till I shatter it. I've decided. They no, they figured me out. I'm going to abduct. I'm going to gaslight the spy master. Kale, the daughter I hate has grown up. Yeah, well, I'm marrying you off to some con in nowhere. So, bye bye. My heir is unmarried. We got to capture a dwarf for him. A fresh one too. <laughs> My god, Koifish, what is this video? I will kill the Basilius. Goodbye! <laughs> and only now do they figure out I'm a murderer. What? You, you're telling me that this little... This little bastard dwarf has been going around killing people sneakily? Has not been found out until now? Who could have expected this? Yes! Keep going! All of House Macedon will be dead. The Queen of West Francia? Are you... Are you telling me I'm... No! Am I to unite the thrones like this? No way! And that makes Princess Helvis the joint ki- I have to kill her! No, no, we cannot kill her! She needs to bear a son! I've united the two biggest houses in all of- in all of the realm! And for what? What the heck? Oh, well, time to mess with the Abbasids. This woman is serving me stew. Uh, I love this stew, but- Hmm... The stringy texture is interrupted with what looks like short and sparse fur. Is this? Oh my lord! I'm eating people! Mmm! Delicious! No way! I don't know how this happened, but now one proud Bavarian but his Persian is ruling the Abbasid Empire. So, uh, congratulations! You, you're now the Malik. I feel like we, we kill him as well. And that leaves a little child on the throne, and that's enough chaos for me. With that said, I'm gonna eat this Italian guy and his massive nose. I'm not even kidding, I'm gonna capture him and I'm gonna eat him. Ca ca catch and cook! Italian edition! <laughs> now eat him! I'm having Italian for dinner. First I'll play with my food though, don't worry. And now we behead and devour! Delicious! So it's looking like this realm is splitting. If I kill this child, the West Frankians rule the Byzantines. And if I kill this child, the, 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 the Christian Armenian rules all of the Abbasid lands. It's too good to be true. The Armenian rules. Now, if this isn't gonna sow some chaos, I don't know what will. And if you think about it, I've defeated the Empire of the Abbasids. That's one of the list. Midova, shake it off the list. Also Midova. Treat yourself with an ice cream. You deserve an ice cream! Abbasid Empire checked off. Uh, Abbasid more like the Arabian Empire, ruled by a <laughs> apo apostolic Christian. Right, uh, now we need to mess up the Bulgarians. And we have made Emperor Louis the Stammerer the Byzantine Emperor! The Carling sits on the Eastern Roman throne. Prince Louis was killed, which means that if I kill the Stammerer, the throne goes to Aquitaine, which unites even more of the realm. I'm sorry, Stammerer, but I'm, I'm gonna have to k k k kill you. That's not funny, koi fish. If you have a sta if you have a stutter and a stammer, that's fine. Listen, you you you're cool, and you don't have to repeat that. Oh oh oh! The the Abbasid Empire has split. It is no longer an empire. I would say that uh, that's my job done here. And I will also kill Emperor Louis. Which means that the Byzantine Empire grows! Oh my god, I've truly cursed the timeline. Now Mr. Robotnik over here rules the Empire. A man of my own nature. A sadist. Time to focus on messing up Bulgaria. And now we abduct this child? Who is the Queen of Bulgaria? Oh no, I did this in the wrong order! Uh, that's awkward. How about I just... Consume the child? Tell you what, looks like we're gonna have to kill a few more Bulgarians. Time for operation. Gaslight. You see, this man is the heir to Bulgaria. I will make him a Hellenist. But what's this? His father died? Oh no. Meaning, the Bulgarians are fellow Hellenists! <laughs> Which, unironically, I would consider as Bulgaria having been taken out. That just leaves one more place. The Byzantine Empire. No, they're Carlings. Wait, are you telling me? I've done it! The smallest kingdom! Might not have taken it out the conventional way. Wait, we're still not a kingdom. Oh my god, I need to fix that. Well, 
Uh, I will say that the Byzantines have split even more. Boom, there we go. We form a second duchy. I will now capture the Pope and do what has to be done. I will eat him. The Pope has been eaten. I now feel satiated as the trickster of Crete. All I have to do now before I die, because I am very much incapable, is to finally, once and for all, make the smallest kingdom. They don't want you to know this, but you can capture as many popes as you want, and kings, and they can't stop you legally. You can also get 500 gold by just ransoming the goddamn Byzantine robot emperor that you made. And with that gold, we will finally take this derailed mess of a video and do it. We have created the smallest kingdom in Crusader Kings 3. And there we have it. The smallest kingdom in all of Crusader Kings 3, Crete, ruled by arguably the smallest king in Crusader Kings, a dwarf. I'm gonna eat another pope. Our goal was to destroy three empires around us as a bit of a David versus Goliath, and that we've done. The Abbasids are no more. The Byzantines are absolutely shattered or ruled by Karlings, which is by default a bigger defeat. Now while the Bulgarians look good on the outside, just like me, on the inside, they're struggling a lot and secretly praising the Hellenic gods. Something tells me though, they're not about to stay together for that long. And here now is the trickster sits, and we have our beautiful little island kingdom. My name is Corfish, and I hope you enjoyed this slightly unhinged, crazy and derailed Crusader Kings 3 video. If you want to see more of this type of content, leave a like and a comment down below to help support this video in the algorithm. Until next time, stay short my dudes. Yeet!